Well, Daniel, okay. So what are you looking to do, Daniel? How can I help you? Um, I saw the piece that Broadly did on you uh, a couple months ago, and uh, I've been sort of fascinated ever since. Who, and, did, who did that on me? I'm sorry. Broadly? Um, I saw it on their YouTube account. Oh, broadly? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Unless, it may have been, no, it may have been, there's a few of them that do um, sort of videos like that, and maybe I'm getting it wrong. Okay, so, Vice? It was a piece, yeah. Okay. Anyway, but it was, yeah, I saw all your stuff a few months ago, and, uh, uh -huh. yeah, so I'm an artist, and I'm really interested in looking into some of these programs that I could help myself, and, you know, my friends, uh, in right. college now, try and get some of our work out there. Uh, yeah, what kind of art you do? I do uh, video work, I do photography, I do illustration. I'm, I'm currently entering the graphic design program at my university. Oh, where is that? Uh, Adelphi University oh, okay. in uh, Long Island. Sure. In, yeah. No, it will. Uh, okay, I mean, we only have a few minutes, so let me t go fast and maybe do it again later. Yeah, okay, uh, th there's a, make sure you know all the programs up in Albany. If you call 211 and ask for the arts, you know, your state for New York, because you'll get a local uh, researcher when you call 211 in New York and tell me you're okay. looking for the office in Albany for the Arts Council. They call it something different in every state. Uh, so make sure you, you're aware of all the programs there. Are, do you live in, in uh, New York somewhere? I do, yes. Yeah, because at the city level, you know, I remember there were arts programs there. So again, 211, uh, you could do that. Uh, the other things that come in, I mean, you, if you have something to make and sell, there's so many artists that I know now, that I've, and, and, and you see interviews on, that I've done on, on uh, YouTube, I mean, uh, photographers and things like that, that are getting money from the stores that have arts. In other words, we seem to be turning more to artists in this country now, and less to mass merchandising. You know, so so many artists yeah. are, are going on, like right there in Brooklyn, yeah, I don't know if you know the website Etsy, E-T-S-Y. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so, so anything you can make by yourself, you could sell there, and it only costs you 20 cents to start a store. You know, or now even Am Amazon.com is the same way. You know, it costs nothing to sell yourself. You have to be approved by Amazon, but that, that doesn't seem to be much as long as you just follow their rules. So if you could think of any kind of, you know, maybe you take artwork and you have, you know, even your photographs or something and, and you could sell prints there of your, you know, <laughs> one of a kind prints or whatever. The, the other thing, yeah, yeah. take a look at Patreon. Patreon is a website for, for artists. And this is wonderful. I talked to the guy who started this website. We only have about 30 seconds. <laughs> I talked to the guy who start, started this website. And about two years ago, I said, it's gonna go, not gonna go anywhere. Who's gonna do this? What they do is you do a crowdfunding campaign to get money every month. And now they're giving out to artists a million dollars a month for artists. So crowdfunding, things like that, Kickstarter now gives more money to artists than the National Endowment of the Arts. Yeah. Uh, I think there's more opportunities now for artists, you know, because of the internet than ever before. Um, if you take a look at s some of the videos they have on, on YouTube, you know, YouTube slash Matthew Lesko 70. Uh, oops, I lost. Your session has ended. Please take a